I'm very honored to be conducting this very special segment of We Go To The Interview. As you may all know, uh, the Torneo Árbol de Guernica is right around the corner. And what better if we can talk to one of the Athletic Club players? So let's get started. So he's a professional football player. He was born in Spain, of course. And he debuted back, back in, twin, in 2009 with Real Zaragoza. Uh, and uh, then he transferred to Athletic Club. And then he had a pass in Manchester United back in 2014. And then uh, he was in PSG with France. And then he went, he came back home in 2022 to Athletic Club. So I'm very honored to introduce to you all Ander Herrera. Ander, welcome. Thank you so Hello. much for being here today. Hello. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure for me to be here with all of you and... And it's an honor for me to it's an honor to me um, to to answer your questions and to to meet you all. Thank you so much. And I promise this is going to be like very casual, like a chat between two uh, fans of soccer, you know. So I already said a little brief introduction about your professional career, but I want to go if you are okay with it. I want to go a little back in history. So how was it that you become a professional player? Like what moment in time, how old were you when you were like, yes, I want to play football? I have always loved football. Uh, you know, at home, uh, my dad uh, my dad was a professional football player player as well. So um, when I was a kid, I always had that that dream to become a football a football player. And, And I don't remember when exactly I realized that I was going to, to be a professional football player, but I made my debut with uh, Real Zaragoza when I was uh, 19. And from that point, everything came too quick. Everything, all, all the things uh, came very, very fast in my career. And today I am 33 and I think I, I am having a... Um, a fantastic career. I'm enjoying football so much and as you said before, I'm back at home uh, in Bilbao when, where I enjoyed so much my first uh, period here. So I love football, I love what I do and, and yes, I'm enjoying my, my career and, and football, which is what I love. Yes, and I mean, as every football fan out there, and if we have a chance to talk to a professional football player, that's all we want to know. Like, from the beginning, we want to be like, oh, my dream was also to wanted to be a professional football player, but maybe a lot of people can do it uh, for a lot of reasons. But it's very interesting for us fans of the beautiful game to know this kind of backstories. So let me just ask, ask before going into the uh, Torneo de Guernica uh, uh, subject, that it's uh, that what everybody is waiting for right now. I just want to go also a little back in time, if you are okay with it. So I was doing my research, of course, and I was reading about you and your professional career. And you were in Manchester United from 2014 to 2019, something like that. And um, I'm pretty sure also every Chiva Hermano out there, as you know, Uh, we call ourselves Chiva Hermanos because we're Chiva Hermanos and we're very like close and we're like very huge fandom all around the world. That's why this is in English, actually. Um, and I think everybody wants to know, you had a chance to be uh, with Javier Hernandez Chicharito in Manchester United. So if you can just tell us briefly uh, what was your relationship with him and how do you uh, combine and play together? I spent uh, two periods with him. First, uh, when I first came to Manchester United, he was there, but um, he didn't get on very well with, with Van Gaal. Uh, he was the coach at that moment and he went on loan to, to Real Madrid. So I just, have the opportunity, I just had the opportunity to be with him a couple of months. After, uh, he went to Real Madrid and the next pre-season he came back because he had contract with the club. And, and then he went on loan to, to Bayer Leverkusen, if I'm mm -hmm. not wrong. So um, I spent two periods, two periods with him, uh, in total, I think, three, four months. But uh, we had a fantastic relationship. I think he's a fantastic guy. He loves Chivas, by the way. He used to talk a lot about <laughs> uh, his, uh, the, the club of his heart. And, and yes, uh, as a... As a um, I couldn't consider myself a friend of Chicharito because we didn't spend too much time together, but uh, we have a good relationship. I know he loves Chivas, as, as I said before, and, 
and yes of course it was it was a pleasure to 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 play with a legend of of your club Yes, exactly. Because as you may know, he debuted in Chivas. He's canterano from Chivas, and and he 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 loves the club, and uh, it's a very he has a very special place in all Chivas hermanos' hearts, and also in all Mexican football overall. So, okay, um, I want to ask you, like, going more into the similarities between Chivas and Athletic Club, uh, what is it like? Or what represents to you to uh, have uh, being in a team that all that only signs. Uh, players that were born in El País Vasco. As you may know, Chivas only signs players that were born in Mexico or from Mexican parents, but they have to be Mexican and they have to play for the Mexican, na Mexican national team. And there's a couple of rules there, but we only play with Mexican players. So what represents uh, to you this um, uh, ideology? I've been questioned a lot of times about it when, when I make interviews with, I, I don't know, with English uh, journalists or whatever. And I always say the same thing. Um, athletic club fans and Chivas, of course, is the same the same situation. They feel part of the club. They they feel part of um, of the, the the victories and of the success of the club. You know, because when you follow and when you support a club that only plays with uh, with uh, local players. Uh, Probably you you know some of them you know you you meet them in the streets you know maybe their parents their brothers so that makes our fans feel so part of of our victories and so part as well of our defeats and and I think it's it's very special you know there is always the 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 conversation in in the streets when when the things don't don't work so well if that would be good to change the philosophy but I'm so 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 convinced that uh, we would became we would become one more club and if we want to be a special we have to continue with this philosophy uh, is something special you can breathe in in bilbao the the the, um, the pride of uh, of being a athletic club uh, supporter and and i imagine the same situation in in mexico with with chivas so that my that's my my point of view about the the situation and about what fans feel when they go to the stadium or when they see us somewhere else they feel part of it and and that's why i think that uh, philosophy or, or, or that way of competing cannot change yes i think you said it perfectly right like uh, us as as hermanos and as mexicans we feel like we are part of the team, even though we're not. And we, we, we feel like they're friends almost more than uh, like public figures. Like we feel part of the, of the game, of the institution. Every time we go to the stadiums, you can feel the atmosphere. Like we were just recently in, in the final of, of, of our tournament. Unfortunately, it was not the outcome we were all expecting. I know, I know. I know, I yes. saw it. <laughs> and it's so kind of traumatizing right now. But yes, I, I think you can understand. Um, and yes, it's it's exactly that that feeling of feeling part of the team. And because okay, he's my he could be my like my brother. Like we were exactly. born in the same country. So so yeah, you said it. Like, what is the impact uh, of the fan base um, th that approaches you and goes to the stadiums and and try to be the best fans in the world? This is this kind of of, of sentiment of uh, pertenencia, you know, of, exactly. of being part of the club. And also, what do you do? You think this kind of um, going now specifically into the tournament of Arbol de Guernica? Do you think this kind of tournament uh, brings a little bit closer together uh, the soccer, football in Mexico and Spain? Do you think this is um, because, as you know, uh, La Liga is very well known in Mexico? I don't know if Liga MX is is well known in Spain. So, do you think this kind of tournaments, this kind of games, can bring um, a little bit closer the Mexican football to Spain? Yes, of course it can. But for the for the the ones that really love football, we know very well Mexico. Uh, you you guys have a fantastic um, football over there. We know how passionate are Mexican fans um, every time they go to to the stadium or they come to 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 Europe. Or I remember when I was in. In, in Manchester, they used to come to see Chicharito all the time when we when we were doing the preseason tournaments in in United States or whatever. So we really know Mexico is a is a big football country. So we don't need to play this tournament to to realize how big is football how how big football is in 
in Mexico. But of course, I think as a, as a club, Chivas and Athletic, they are special and they have to know everyone and they have to know the, the, the world that uh, we are special. We are different and we want to compete this way because this is the way we are happy. So for me that I love football, I don't need to, to play this game to realize how big is Chivas in Mexico. But uh, probably for the ones that may, maybe they don't love football as much as I do, <laughs> it's good to play this kind of uh, tournament to, to, to make them know that uh, we are two very special clubs and, and we are like, like brothers for the way of competing. Yes, and I'm very glad you said that because maybe sometimes us being in Mexico, we're not very aware of the impact that maybe uh, Mexican football has outside of Mexico by itself. Like we know what happened in Qatar in 2022, like it was not the best display of game. So uh, the fandom right now is like a little bit like down low. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, if you really like football, you I, I'm pretty sure like, you know, who the top teams of Mexico are. And of course, yeah, yeah. of course not because I'm wearing the shirt right now, but of course she was as one of them. So I'm I know, I know. I want to I wanna make you all happy. And I know Chivas is the club with the biggest amount of, fall, of uh, supporters <laughs> all around the world. Uh, I mean, in, in terms of Mexican teams. Uh, apart, of, um, um, apart from Chivas, uh, Cruz Azul, America mm -hmm. and Pumas, If I'm not wrong, yes, you're they are the, the the other. They are the the four big clubs in in, in Mexico. But uh, I know, and everyone knows, I think Chivas is the one with the <laughs> with the biggest amount of uh, of supporters uh, all all along uh, Mexico. You're absolutely right, and you're making me blush because that is absolutely <laughs> correct. That is correct. Thank you so much for acknowledging <laughs> that. Thank you so much. Uh, you're going to make all the Chivas hermanos watching this very, very, very happy. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, you uh, you have you ever been to Mexico? No, never been. It's gonna be my it's gonna be my first time, and I am so excited to to visit Mexico and and to visit the stadium. I've been told that it's a fantastic stadium, similar to San Mamés, mm -hmm. and and I'm I'm going to enjoy the the atmosphere. I know also Oscar Wally. Uh, he okay. comes from the he comes from the same academy as as me. We have the same agent as well. And, and I, I, I hope he, he has success uh, over there in Mexico because he's a fantastic guy, fantastic player, fantastic goalkeeper, and I wish him all the best. I'm sure he, he, he's going to have eventually a very good tournament with us, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So it's your first time in Mexico, and of course it's going to be your first time in Guadalajara. And yes, you said it right right now. So as you know, Estadio Akron is going to be one of the stadiums, that, uh, uh, games of the World Cup of 2026 is going to be played. Uh, so what, what means to you being able to play in uh, Estadio Mundialista? Um, that means if it's an Estadio Mundialista, it's going to be for the World Cup. That means it's, it's new, it's very modern, and, and it's going to be fantastic to play there. Uh, apart from that, as, as we said before, uh, we're going to be able to play in front of a lot of fans, a lot of Chivas fans, and, and I'm, I'm so excited. I think we are going to experience a new... A new um, a new situation, you know, because the fans here and, and in Mexico, they are different. Uh, in Bilbao, we have fantastic supporters. Uh, almost every game, uh, the, the, the stadium is full, 50,000 people every game here at home. But the, the, the fans are different, you know. We are going to experience a different situation. Um, we are going to play in a fantastic stadium with, with uh, some Mexi Mexican fans over there. So... As I said before in the first in the um, previous question, for the ones that really like football and we love football, uh, we, we we love to experience this kind of uh, situations and playing in in huge and big stadiums as we're going to do. Right, right. So yeah, it's going to be packed. I have to warn you, it's going to be packed of fans. You are going to feel the atmosphere. We are very like warm fans, so it's going to be uh, we're very loud and uh, it's very uh, family friendly. You know, it's, you're going to be a lot of uh, you're going to see a lot of little kids, and it's going to be fantastic. I'm sure you're going to have a pretty pretty nice time. And lastly, I know you're super busy, and we have like one more minute uh, to finish this interview. I want to ask you. So just. Uh, uh, I don't know if everybody knows this, but El Trofeo del Árbol de Garnica, it's very peculiar. Like, it's, it's a log of wood, literally, cut in half. 
uh, where you um, the, the, you have the symbolism of the field, of the players, of the crests, of the dates, of the team's names. And every team has a piece of, a piece of this log. And at the end of the tournament, whoever wins gets both pieces and they merge together to form the trophy overall. So what it means to you? Uh, I mean, it's at the end of the day, it's like a friendly, but what it means to you to being able to play this kind of international games with a team as big again, not because I'm wearing the shirt, but as gay, as big as Chivas. What it means to you? Uh, it's, it's, it's friendly, but we want to win. Eh? Both, both <laughs> teams, we want to win. You know? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, we, we, we respect Chivas. Uh, we love going there and, and to meet you all and to meet the stadium and, and the fans. But we want to win. So it's a friendly <laughs> game, but we both teams want to win. And we want to show that uh, you, you guys have already started the... Um, the competition, but we have to, to earn our, our place in the team and we're going to try to win the game. But uh, it means uh, a lot. It means a lot to, a lot to play against the, the biggest club in, in, in Mexico, uh, to represent also our club and our philosophy um, away from Spain. You know, we are not very used to, to, to travel to, to, to Mexico or to, to the other side of, of the world. And, and it's going to be fantastic. Uh, I hope uh, we both teams enjoy, both uh, fans enjoy. Probably we will have some Basque fans as well over there because, you know, some of the, um, of the second names of, of, of Mexican people, they, they remind me <laughs> Basque, Basque people. So probably they are son of, uh, of Basque people that went there a few years ago. So it's going to be fantastic to, to meet them as well. And, and we are so excited to, to go, uh, we are so excited to, to play there and, and to meet you all. It's a fantastic, uh, fantastic feeling to, to, to go to Mexico and, and to play that game, that tournament. Well, I'm sure you're going to have a great time. I wish you the best of luck. We want to win too, FYI. Okay. <laughs> and, yeah. and, I, and, I like that, and I like that as well. Eh? Otherwise... Exactly. Doesn't make sense. That's the beauty of the game at the end of the day. Friendly or not, we exactly. you just want to win it, right? Exactly. So and then, I, thank you so much. This was an honor meeting you and being able thank to bring you. this kind of content to all our Chiva Hermanos to get to know you a little bit better and get them hyped up about this upcoming game uh, on Sunday with uh, Athletic Club and Chivas. So thank you so much for your time. And I thank appreciate you. it very much. And stay safe and welcome to Mexico. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.